Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Ryan, also known as Reziol. And uh, today I would like to discuss uh, a product that I recently purchased, uh, but really it's more of a question uh, about a bigger topic inside of model hobby and especially wargaming, uh, and that is a bit about 3D printing and uh, my thoughts uh, about that uh, as it sits. Should you do it? Is it um, something that we should be doing? Is it something we should be utilizing? Um, yay or nay, this is not, not a new topic. It's been coming up for a while now, so. Uh, but I'm uh, just gonna give my thoughts. Because it's related to something I picked up, I'm gonna show that off and uh, briefly talk about uh, where I got it. And so, um, yeah, we'll move on to it. I want y'all to know that I uh, re redid this video a few times now because uh, I, it was just a product review, but I was really skirting around wanting to talk about this issue in it, and the more I would look at things, I was like, you know, I just need to talk about this part as the major thing and, and really give it a proper uh, proper uh, perspective that I, that I have. So uh, let's check it out. So basically, um, I purchased some uh, upgrade parts for my uh, Warhammer models. For Warhammer 40,000 for Space Marines, and these are basically Thunder Hammer weapons that, that you can uh, put onto most models if you can uh, swap out a hand or do something like this. So, uh, just real quick talking about what I have here, um, I would say that uh, this is one of the reasons that I actually bought these was because of the quality. I think the print quality is exceptional. Um, there could potentially even be higher print quality than this uh, with, the, with the stuff I've seen online. I'll get into that a little bit more, but basically why I got these was I think the aesthetic matches really well with what Games Workshop already makes so that these will, um, when you first glance at them, you, you may not even realize that they don't belong to the original line. Uh, they are not. They're not a copy of anything directly, but they're, you know, they're inspired by. And... Uh, based on comparison to actual uh, kits that are made, I would say the quality is on par, and that is another thing, you know? Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later as well. But as for these, uh, yeah, I really like this. They came from a uh, third-party seller online called Hoplite Gaming. Uh, they're in the uh, United States. I found them on Etsy, and uh, my experience with them was perfectly good. Uh, definitely say check them out. They appeared to have this file uh, for sale, which was about 10 hammers, although I did receive 12, so I don't know exactly what the deal was, but the rest of the, everything else about the order was fine, and they even included a little extra. I got a Hobbit, which of course I'll have to paint that up, and I mean, we'll look at this again in a minute, but that was just a cool thing. <laughs> and there was another bit in there, um, but uh, not. it was just like a like an extra little piece, part of my order, but uh, the 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 big deal there was um, just pricing, uh, communication, and shipping and stuff like that. And I would say they did pretty well on all of those. So Hoplite was good. I'll put a link down in the video description below for them if you want to check them out. I do think that this file, probably uh, based on some of the research I did, is not unique to them. I think they're just one of the ones that they're printing. Uh, they may have some unique products that are just theirs. I'm not aware, but definitely uh, check them out if you like. And if you like Etsy or something like that, uh, I spend a lot of time checking of things on Etsy. I don't always buy stuff that often, but every now and again, and it's a, it's a good resource. So the, uh, the elephant in the room, though, is what do I think about the 3D printing? And I would say um, it's we're in a gray area uh, as far as I'm concerned, where I stand. Um, the more, and this is why I redid this video a couple of times, the more I think about it, the more that... I'm in favor of competition where the market um, has a gap. And that just that just makes for for excellence with these companies. If there's a, if there's a space that the model company that you're dealing with um, kind of isn't filling, and that means that there's a market where people are actually paying for it elsewhere, that's probably a blind spot they have. That if they fixed or that they decided to go into properly, they would uh, they would do even better. You know, um, so that's up to them. Uh, when, when it comes to stuff like that, when it comes to, in my opinion, stuff like uh, upgrade parts. Uh, if, if I don't have enough weapons for a thing that I want to do that I can do, uh, if I don't, you know, if I just want to change the aesthetic of it, uh, you know, and, and as long as it's not 
you know, hurting or bothering anybody else, I don't see the problem uh, with stuff like that. It gets a little bit more tricky when you start talking about whole models. And here is the thing. My gut tells me that I, I don't really prefer that. I don't like to see whole models being proxied and replaced. Uh, I do think that if, if the whole hobby goes to people kind of going completely away from purchasing from the companies that originate uh, the product that you really love, those companies are going to suffer. But I also think that they have to, they have to find their way to keep, you know, to uh, change with the times. And the times, they are a-changing because look, I mean, this is not a new topic. A lot of us talk about this stuff all the time. 3D printing is here and it is good. Uh, that is a great little, I mean, this thing is tiny, man. That is my thumb right there. <laughs> and I don't have big hands, okay? And the quality on this is awesome. That is as good as the majority of plastic kits out there. And it's better than most of the resin ones uh, as far as a lot of the Forge World that I get. Um, with, you know, there's literally no need to, there's no building on this. I don't have to put anything together for this little guy. The quality of the details are in there. It's nice and fine. And the print lines, I don't know what device they use to print this. I've seen uh, home 8K printers doing some crazy work. I mean, it's a tough call. I just think that I do still draw the line. I prefer to stick, personally at the moment, I'm sticking with uh, things like accessories. I'm sure some of you are like beckoning me saying join the dark side, but uh, but no, I mean I buy I, I buy most of my stuff direct from uh, GW. I don't have any um, 3D print or, or recast stuff as far as models. And and actually, you know what? I love metal models. I love the classic stuff. I love uh, I actually love a lot of their resin models. Very good stuff. I'm uh, not that critical of it as some people seem to be. Uh, their plastic is great, but I don't you know. There's sometimes there's things that, that they just don't do a certain way, like how they cut or slice a kit to be built or something like this or whatever. And honestly, like these, uh, these 3D prints are, are heavily competing. And I, again, for me, the quality um, just really like throws the whole thing into question sometimes where I'm like, man, uh, if, if a 3D printed model is legitimately that much better than the official model, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I can tell somebody don't do it. I just don't know how I can tell them don't. Um, I, I know what I will do for the most part, uh, like I said, but, you know, and I'm even looking at, so, getting into uh, 3D printing at home as soon as I can for other games, because there's a lot of games that actually embrace it. Uh, there's model hobby that embraces it. Uh, you know, if you're doing military modeling and gunpla and stuff like this, those are actually super well supported, by the way, uh, with, uh, with extra kits and things, but, even still, there's 3D printing going on there. So I think that um, uh, at the end of the day, you got to make your own call and you definitely need to navigate your uh, your tournament rules if you're going to tournaments and events and, you know, stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's that. Oh, wow. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, am I right? Am I wrong? Am I... Does it matter? <laughs> do you have a... Uh, you know, an, an agreement in, in all this with me. So uh, either way, uh, love the conversation below. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe if you're getting any value out of the content. Uh, check out the Instagram at Liliao. And that is it, y'all. Bye for now.